Girls. Today we're going to learn a little bit about one of my very favorite composers, John Philip Sousa. And yes, he is related to our favorite art teacher, Mrs. Sousa. So John Philip Sousa, when he was a young boy, his dad was in a band and knew how to play many instruments. So when John was eight, eight years old, he had already known how to play the piano and the violin and the trumpet and the clarinet. He learned how to play a lot of different instruments. Then one day, John went to hear a circus play. And while he was at the circus watching the clowns and all the actors and all the animals, he just couldn't keep his eyes off the circus band. They played the most wonderful music. And they also had a parade through the street every night. And John just wished and wished that he could be in a marching band and play in a parade like that. So he decided that that was what he was going to do. When John got home from the circus that night, he told his parents about his exciting news that he was going to join the, join the circus band and play in the circus parades and play at every circus. And his dad said, uh, no, you're not going to do that. When John told his parents that he was going to join the circus and they were very against it, he went and packed his suitcase and he decided he was going to run away and join the circus. And it was a good thing that his dad found out because if he had joined the circus, he would not have been the musician he became. His dad got him, found him, and brought him back and said, I have a better idea for, your, for you, John, for you and your life. We're going to send you to a special school. His dad took him and put him on a train, packed his suitcase, put him on a train that night. And where did John arrive? At the United States Military Academy. And so he was enrolled in the school there, which was a sleepaway school, just like Hogwarts is a sleepaway school. And he learned all of his math and reading and all that, but he also was in the band. And it wasn't a very long period of time until he was the conductor of the band. And then he was writing music for the band. When he graduated, he continued to play in the band and write music. His favorite kind of music was marching music for parades. One of the problems that John Philip Sousa noticed in the parades was that he couldn't really get the sound of a tuba to go to the listeners in the parade because the bell of the tuba shoots straight up into the air. And he also noticed that the musicians were struggling to carry the tuba in one hand and play it with the other hand because it was so heavy. So he went to another instrument maker and he explained the problem of how he could, needed to get the sound to go forward to the audience and how they needed to be able to carry. And so his friend and him figured out how they could reshape the tuba so that somebody could carry it easily. And that instrument is called a sousaphone. And it is named after John Philip Sousa. The music that I teach every kindergarten class is called Stars and Stripes Forever. John Philip Sousa got the idea for Stars and Stripes when he was returning home from Europe. The European music loved his marching parade music. And he was coming home on a ship. And as he was walking around the ship, it, he just this music just popped into his head. And so he wrote it down. And that was... Um, the Stars and Stripes Forever. And you know in that music, I love it so much because it has the high part to the low part, the high part to the low part. And then it slowly goes, la, 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 la. I love that when I'm teaching kindergarten how the music goes down and they can really hear it in that song. I hope now that you know a little bit more about one of my favorite American musicians. John Philip Sousa. Passing the baton. When John Philip Sousa retired, his baton was passed on to the next conductor. This tradition continues. In this picture, the retiring conductor passes on the actual baton 
of John Philip Sousa to the next director of the United States Marine Band. Thank you.